Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about sleep cycles. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. When thinking about getting the sleep you need, it's normal to focus on how many hours of sleep you get. While sleep duration is undoubtedly important, it's not the only part of the equation. It's also critical to think about sleep quality, and whether the time spent sleeping is restorative. Progressing smoothly multiple times through the sleep cycle, composed of four separate sleep stages, is a vital part of getting truly high-quality rest. Each sleep stage plays a part in allowing your mind and body to wake up refreshed. Understanding the sleep cycle also helps explain how certain sleep disorders, including insomnia and obstructive sleep apnea, can impact a person's sleep and health. What is the sleep cycle? Sleep is not uniform. Instead, throughout the night, your total sleep is made up of several rounds of the sleep cycle, which is composed of four individual stages. On a typical night, a person goes through four to six sleep cycles. Not all sleep cycles are the same length, but on average they last about 90 minutes each. Are all sleep cycles the same? It is normal for sleep cycles to change as you progress through your nightly sleep. The first sleep cycle is often the shortest, ranging from 70 to 100 minutes, while later cycles tend to fall between 90 and 120 minutes. Also, the composition of each cycle, how much time is spent in each sleep stage, changes as the night goes along. Sleep cycles can vary from person to person, and from night to night based on a wide range of factors such as age, recent sleep patterns, and alcohol consumption. Why do the sleep stages matter? Sleep stages are important because they allow the brain and body to recuperate and develop. Failure to obtain enough of both deep sleep and REM sleep may explain some of the profound consequences of insufficient sleep on thinking, emotions, and physical health. Sleepers who are frequently awoken during earlier stages, such as people with sleep apnea, may struggle to properly cycle into these deeper sleep stages. People with insomnia may not get enough total sleep to accumulate the needed time in each stage. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. What are the sleep stages? There are four sleep stages, one for rapid eye movement, REM, sleep, and three that form non-REM, and REM, sleep. These stages are determined based on an analysis of brain activity during sleep, which shows distinct patterns that characterize each stage. The classification of sleep stages was updated in 2007 by the American Academy of Sleep Medicine AASM. Before that, most experts referred to five sleep stages, but today, the ASM definitions of the four stages represent the consensus understanding of the sleep cycle. An REM Stage 1 Stage 1 is the beginning of the sleep cycle and is a relatively light stage of sleep. Stage 1 can be considered a transition period between wakefulness and sleep. In stage 1, the brain produces high amplitude theta waves, which are very slow brain waves. This period of sleep lasts only a brief time, around 5 to 10 minutes. If you awaken someone during this stage, they might report that they were not asleep. An REM stage 2. Stage 2 is the second stage of sleep and lasts for approximately 20 minutes. During stage 2 sleep, you become less aware of your surroundings. Body temperature drops. Breathing and heart rate become more regular. The brain begins to produce bursts of rapid, rhythmic brain wave activity known as sleep spindles. Body temperature starts to decrease and heart rate begins to slow. According to the American Sleep Foundation, People spend approximately 50% of their total sleep in this stage. An REM stage 3. During stage 3 of sleep, muscles relax. Blood pressure and breathing rate drop. The deepest sleep occurs. This stage was previously divided into stages 3 and 4. Deep, 
Slow brain waves known as delta waves begin to emerge during stage 3 sleep. This stage is also sometimes referred to as delta sleep. During this stage, people become less responsive, and noises and activity in the environment may fail to generate a response. It also acts as a transitional period between light sleep and very deep sleep. Older studies suggested that bedwetting was most likely to occur during this deep stage of sleep, but some more recent evidence suggests that such bedwetting can also occur at other stages. Sleepwalking also tends to occur most often during the deep sleep of this stage. REM sleep. During REM sleep, the brain becomes more active. The body becomes relaxed and immobilized. Dreams occur. Eyes move rapidly. Most dreaming occurs during the fourth stage of sleep, known as rapid eye movement REM, sleep. REM sleep is characterized by eye movement, increased respiration rate, and increased brain activity. The American Sleep Foundation suggests that people spend approximately 20% of their total sleep in this stage. REM sleep is also referred to as paradoxical sleep because while the brain and other body systems become more active, muscles become more relaxed. Dreaming occurs due to increased brain activity, but voluntary muscles become immobilized. The sequence of sleep stages. It is important to realize that sleep does not progress through these stages in sequence. Sleep begins in stage 1 and progresses into stages 2 and 3. After stage 3 sleep, stage 2 sleep is repeated before entering REM sleep. Once REM sleep is over, the body usually returns to stage 2 sleep. Sleep cycles through these stages approximately 4 or 5 times throughout the night. On average, we enter the REM stage approximately 90 minutes after falling asleep. The first cycle of REM sleep might last only a short amount of time, but each cycle becomes longer. REM sleep can last up to an hour as sleep progresses. You've probably heard that you progress through a series of stages as you sleep, but what exactly does that mean? Sleep is sleep, right? In reality, there is still a lot going on inside your head while you're in slumber, and it is the activity in your brain that marks these different sleep stages. While sleep is often thought of as a passive process, research has shown that the brain is quite active during different stages of sleep. Sleep plays an important role in many processes, including memory consolidation and brain cleanup. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.